Hello my fellow hunters and finally welcome to my ice meta build video. This took me a huge amount of time because I have previously before at all starting with any builds figuring out the skill priority and all this stuff which took me several days and I think now I can begin with this elemental switch axe builds. I starting with the few with the trees where you have less different element switch axes and then I go further, last maybe as dragon because you has the most different dragon elemental switch axes. The thing is, um, if we go to the weapon tree, please don't be confused. This is my hacked save fire. I am using two different ones, one for general hunting and another save fire with hacked charms and hacked uh, items amount for build guide videos, calculation videos. So I didn't have to put first 200 hours into crafting and otherwise this video also didn't was possible. Um, yeah, so please keep that in mind. In the future don't yes, put any dirty comments in the section down below for the text stuff. This is also my speedrun account. So because I have their red fishes and so I didn't need any speed dropping and other stuff. Um, so I just want to give you a quick shout out about didn't want to <laughs> at the first you the spreadsheets because yes yeah, I think that case a few viewers left maybe because maybe they prefer actual in-game video in uh, out of spreadsheets. Yeah let's go to um search sort element ice element and um, the the cool thing is we only have four ice switch axes so this time it's very easy. First of all I have to say the battery of switch axe is completely fucked. It's completely useless because we only have a level 1 rampage slot and so it doesn't can compete with the other switch axes because they have level 2 slot where final switch boost or yes um, anti species deco can use which boosts your dps up to 6 or 8 percent so it can't catch up anyway yes so amber heart first is the best the bad the worst choice of all then um, it's very tricky uh, we have Luna Garon Swax with Natural Purple Sharpness. And then we also have the Daora Switch X. And they, that's about the same energy. Is that the bottom? Yes. And this is the Kushla Daora Switch X. Both have Purple Sharpness. Um, Kushla Daora has less raw but very much more busted element. And also a level 3 ramp rampage slot, which is absolutely crazy because you can use fire switch plus for pl for grounded play style. Only bad thing, only one slot. So yes, for ice attack you need level one slot. So we have instead, yeah, figure out some other stuff. And yes, they are at the end of the day they are exactly the same. Uh, the aura strana does a tiny bit more. DPS, but uh, instead of that, uh, the Luna Garon Switch X can ca um, compensate that because it has more purple sharpness, so you didn't have to sharpen so often. For those people who are lazy to sharpen, I recommend the Luna Garon Switch X over Kushla the Aura. But yes, Kushla the Aura has heavy element. And then when I ex explained, like in the video, um, above before for multiplayer I still recommend elemental vial I figure it out it's still multiplayer is better than power vial because yes uh, you can't get your burst counter in multiplayer it's so hot and and that's the reason why I recommend to using yes split your wise and um, you need three levels of handicraft and three triple sharpness it, it looks like two but you need three levels that's crazy and it has extremely good rampage level 3 lamp rampage slot so you get access to fire switch boost and um, yes for multiplayer i recommend the switch x i have no build preparation because if i show you two builds for pc players for a meta switch x then two builds for elemental file for multiplayer and then all times five that's about 20 builds so i didn't want to confuse stuff so i show you how to do that so now we go to the spreadsheet i explain you know the math Yes, I have done, done them off before. <coughs> First of all, Barrier of Switch X is useless. We didn't have a good Rampage slot, so it can't compete with the other Switch Xs. Um, now to the solo recommended Switch X. It's the Aura Jana and Purnima Ice Chopper. I'm gonna put that both and do the same, yes, level because they 
exactly there isn't a big difference depending on the hit zones ah sorry wrong color okay so i say this or both meta switch axes so you can see at the end of the day um for aerial damage output the aura shana has 2458 and Pronima Ice Hopper 2421. Depending on the hit zones, I have written at the bottom of the video down below. So, yeah, they're pretty much the same, but for the Auras Ajana, I think it's a lot better for monsters with better elemental hit zone values, or if the monster has bad raw hit zone values, the Auras Ajana Jina is all the better. So, all in all, I done several hunts, yes, and I'm more comfy with the Auras Ajnana. Uh, but if you're, for example, too lazy to sharpen all the time, because if you use the Auras Switch X, you do more DPS, but you also have to sharp more often. So at the end of the day, they have the same DPS. But yes, I just used the Auras Ajna because, yes, it was in the vanilla, by far my favorite Switch X, and yes, just for the tradition, I'm using the Auras Ajna. Yes, um, okay, so let's start with the solo switch X builds and they are gonna further with the Lagombi switch X. Um, just in comparison, um, if you wanna know, you can click just here on the spreadsheet on the link. Um, here if you PC player or here if you Nintendo Switch player. So if you Nintendo Switch player, just click here for the build. Make sure to input your drums and then the skills are already toggled on and the only stuff you have to do click on search. Um, when you click on the X, like here or on the cross, you can see the skills of the build. So in comparison from switch build to PC build, the PC builds are about 6% more DPS. Okay, let's gonna start with the uh, Nintendo Switch build because I think more are interested in the Nintendo Switch build. The good thing is for every elemental Switch X, on general for every Switch X build, you're using the same armor pieces. It's always Almu and Boss, Malzeno and Boss, Death Stench X, always the same armor pots. Always. So it's very easy to build around with. Yes, for the um, Nintendo Switch charm, I'm using a uh, random charm with two level two slots and the one skill that was on the charm was flint tree level one so it's also very good for multiplayer if you still want to use a power file and multiplayer but i recommend elemental file over power file multiplayer so let's go to the skills first on this set we have ice attack level five attack boost level four weakness exploit free protective polish Power Prolonger is still maxed out. If you didn't want to use full Power Prolonger, you can instead use Critical Boost. But Power Prolonger and Crit Boost have about the same priority, the same skill priority, so it doesn't really matter. But for more comfy, I go for Power Prolonger. Hyperk Whisperer maxed out with Rapid Move and Chain Crit. Speed Sharpening level 2. And Evade Extender level 1 only on the PC build is Evade Extender level 2. Yes, that's it. Now to the decos. Uh, for the rampage slot, um, I'm using any anti species slot for yeah general hunting. And if you go for full crowded playstyle, I recommend switch or true free because I made a video of it. Okay, now to the decorations. On the Oras Ajnajnijna, or how it's called, grinder tool one. On the Almudron Helm X uh, attack and the jumping tool two. On the end boss chest, hot frost tool 3 and frost tool plus 2. On the Malzeno um, gloves, enhanced shot tool plus 4. You can also instead use grid boost, but I prefer power longer. On the belt, wirebug tool plus 4 for wirebug whisper. On the death stand shield X, a tenderizer tool 2 and a grinder tool 1. And on our random charm, two sharp tools level 2. So that's the build. These are the main skills. I didn't show that every time because it's always the same. And now we continue with the PC build. First of all, the general skills. 
attack boost is maxed out instead of attack boost 4 we are using maxed out attack boost also ice attack level 5 wax protective polish power bronger wire bug whisper rapid move and chain crit every stuff is maxed out that's pretty cool also crit boost level 2 and weight extender level 2 which i prefer over like weight extender 1 i think it's really much better sometimes it is weird for the ebc positioning but in general i prefer level 2 also speed sharpening level 2 and yes resentment from the set now to the decorations um yes on the the aura switch axe a grinder tool one on the almodron helm x a attack and a critical tool on the hand boss chest a hard frost tool three and a critical tool two on the milceno braces a hand hand shot tool plus four on the end boss chest jumping tool plus four on death stench lex tenderizer tool two and grinder tool one and on our god charm a wire bug tool plus four with two frost tools one for the god charm i am using um attack boost three with protective polish two a level four a level one and a well level one slot this is the best possible combination you can get okay that's it now that's it now at the end of the video i recommend you a weapon for multiplayer hunts It is the Lagombi Switch X, which is the which has the best elemental fire. Um, I figured out that building around this weapon is better with white sharpness because uh, you need uh, getting into purple sharpness is not really worth it because yeah, um, I did the morph and yes. Level 3 Handicraft is just too much for the Switch X currently. Also for this Nintendo Switch players, which hasn't got trumps. So I recommended some builds here. You can just click on the X and then you can use your own build. Um, reason why we have Don't Purple Sharpness, I want to reserve that because for Wirebug Whisper 3. Also, Chain Crit is skill priority is over Handicraft Purple. And yes, only power prolonger level 1 is needed. And yes, you can just watch the skills yourself. And yes, in comparison to the power files, uh, let's make a quick calculation. 2458. Let's make a quick calculation. Here, here this is the calculation column for aerial switch X. Yes, so in general, Kusha the Aura Switch X is about 10% stronger than the Dagombi Switch X, but it's still very nice for Comfy multiplayer. So that was with the video. I'm gonna continue later with other elemental builds. See you next time. Thanks for watching.